The lightweight division in the UFC has seen some of the greatest fighters in the sport. The division is a magnet for talent from BJ Penn and Frankie Edgar to Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. But not everyone can perform on the big stage. That's why we've compiled six of the best UFC lightweight title fights of all time. Which title fight ended with a brawl? And how did winning a belt end a champion's career? Stay tuned to find out. Jens Pulver versus BJ Penn at UFC 35. BJ Penn was one of those legendary fighters whose name was bigger than the sport. He tore through the lightweight division in the early 2000s, and you rarely saw him on the losing side of a fight. But 2002 was still very early in his career. He still had a little bit of hair back then. It was UFC 35, and Penn was facing the reigning champion, Jens Pulver, trying to take his belt. It was Pulver's second title defense, and he was cruising on a three-fight win streak in the UFC, where he had beaten John Lewis, Cal Uno, and Dennis Hallman. On the other side of the octagon, Penn was on his way up the division with just three wins in his MMA career. He was beginning to make waves, but he hadn't yet evolved into the complete fighter he was in his prime. A fight earlier, he had eradicated Cal Uno in 11 seconds, so many tipped him to do the same to Jens Pulver. And although he got close to a submission in the second round, he didn't do enough to dethrone the champion. Pulver was handed the victory with a split decision, but the two would face again at the end of Season 5 of The Ultimate Fighter. That time, Penn did finish in the second round. Frankie Edgar versus Gray Maynard at UFC 125. 11 years ago, UFC was a different sport. It didn't have the mainstream attention it now does. But to MMA fans, Frankie Edgar was a big deal. As one of the toughest fighters on the planet, you knew that you were in for a show if you booked tickets to watch Frankie. And at UFC 125, he didn't disappoint. Frankie had won the lightweight title two fights ago against BJ Penn and followed it up with a quick rematch where he defended it for the first time. But this fight was against Gray Maynard. While BJ Penn was heading towards the end of his career, Maynard was in his prime and was still undefeated on an eight-fight win streak, including a win over Frankie. Everyone knew it would be tough, but the audience was still blown away by how tough it was. It started with a bang as Maynard put the pressure on, slamming Frankie with all kinds of strikes, looking for an early finish. Frankie was knocked down three times and bleeding from his face, but that didn't discourage him. He made it into the next round and started to even the score, slugging it out with Maynard in a fight that was too close for most to call. The judges agreed, and they were split down the middle. One gave it to Maynard, one to Edgar, and one called it a draw. That only meant one thing, a split draw and a rematch on the cards. That was great news for fight fans, but devastating for Edgar and Maynard. Conor McGregor versus Eddie Alvarez at UFC 205. He might be more famous for his whiskey and social media antics now, but in his prime, Conor McGregor was virtually unbeatable. He dramatically rose to the top of the featherweight division, where he knocked out Jose Aldo to claim the championship belt. He wasn't done there. McGregor's confidence pushed him to different divisions, chasing a second belt. First, he fought Nate Diaz, twice at welterweight, losing and winning one. Then he dropped down to the lightweight division and was given an immediate title shot against Eddie Alvarez at UFC 205. As usual, McGregor had the advantage in the build-up to the fight. His trash-talking is legendary, and it seemed to work. By the time Alvarez got into the octagon, he looked nervous, and it didn't help that McGregor's performance was flawless. Almost every strike he sent landed, and his big left hand slowly wore Alvarez down. McGregor spent the first part of the fight analyzing, dodging, and weaving. Alvarez could barely land a glove on him, and Connor was always two steps ahead. Then the notorious pounced, dropping Alvarez to the canvas, and dropping him again to finish the fight. Slow motion replays showed how precise Connor was, hitting Alvarez with several strikes when he was already falling. With that, McGregor claimed his second UFC belt to hold the featherweight and lightweight championships at the same time. And he barely even broke a sweat. Unfortunately for McGregor, this was the peak of his career. After UFC 205, he left to box Floyd Mayweather before returning to MMA. Up next, how did Khabib beat McGregor at his own game to become a UFC champion? And which lightweight title fight is number one on the list? So don't go anywhere. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor at UFC 229. When Conor did return to the UFC, it was for a blockbuster fight. The two were bitter rivals and had much to say about each other. Conor smashed a bus, almost went to jail, and insulted Khabib's religion to try and get in his opponent's head.
head, but it didn't work this time. Khabib was a fighter that Connor had never encountered, and once they got into the octagon, it didn't take long to see who was on top. Most analysts thought that Khabib would quickly take the fight to the ground, where he's the strongest, but to begin with, he kept the fight on their feet, and he outstruck one of the best strikers in the sport. If it weren't for Connor's big name, it would look like any other fight on his record. When Khabib went to the ground, it was game over. The Dagestani's wrestling power was just too much for Connor to handle. In between rounds, Connor was caught on a microphone telling Khabib that his trash talking had been only business. After three rounds of manhandling, Khabib put McGregor out of his misery with a neck crank, forcing the Irishman to tap. But that wasn't the end of it. After the referee stepped in, Khabib continued to shout at McGregor until both teams spilled into the octagon and caused a brawl. Both of them were fined and suspended for it. UFC 229 was one of the most memorable lightweight title fights. Charles Oliveira vs. Michael Chandler at UFC 262 Michael Chandler has a hell of a knockout power. The lightweight iced Dan Hooker in the first round and scored one of the knockouts of the year when his front kick landed on Tony Ferguson. That meant Charles Oliveira would have to be extra careful if he wanted to avoid the same fate. When they came together at UFC 262, there were plenty of moments where Chandler looked to put Oliveira off balance in the first round. Ooh. Oliveira had taken most of the damage, but he needed a break, and whatever his cornerman said to him in between rounds worked, because De Bronx dropped Chandler with a deadly left counterpunch before chasing him around the octagon and sending him to the canvas. Once there, Oliveira kept shooting strikes until the referee was forced to end the fight. This was the fight that won him the lightweight championship and came to define his exciting style. The unique thing about Oliveira is that he can take a huge damage before flipping a fight on its head. Charles Oliveira vs. Islam Makachev at UFC 280 Khabib may have finished with a perfect record, but he left more than just his results with the UFC. Even though he has started his promotion, another Dagestani has continued his legacy. His name is Islam Makachev, and he crushed the reigning champion, Charles Oliveira, to become the lightweight world champion. Being the cousin of Khabib and getting first-hand training, it might sound like it was written in the stars for Makachev to win a belt, but his biggest obstacle was Charles Oliveira, the Brazilian, who had turned his career around to dominate all of the top contenders in the lightweight division. And with the most submission wins in UFC history, Makachev would have to be cautious about taking him down. Well, that didn't last long. Makachev showed no reluctance to put his sambo wrestling to the test against one of the best grapplers in the sport. Then, in the second round, after Makachev wounded Oliveira with a punch, he left no room for escape, swarming on him to finish with an arm triangle choke. Can anyone beat this style that Khabib has pioneered? It doesn't look like it, and that fight didn't just win Makachev a belt, it also guaranteed him a shot at the featherweight belt against Alexander Volkanovsky. Which lightweight title fight was your favorite from the list? And did we miss any? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.